Imagine yourself at a beautiful location. To make it a good memory, you have to take a picture of that beautiful scenery. For that, you need a camera. But what if you can capture a photo of what you're seeing right in front of your eyes with your eyes? How would that be if you can capture photos with your eyes? What I'm trying to say is, what if you can use your eye as a camera? Is that possible? And try to answer this question. How many megapixels is human eye? I want you to keep your answer in your mind. And I'm pretty sure that the answer is not that simple. And you will know it. Just stay with me. Between the years 1826 and 1827, Joseph Nips took the first photograph which was named View from the Window. That is the oldest photograph in the world which is still preserved at University of Texas. The point is, it took 8 hours to take the photo using heliography techniques. But today, situations are different. 95 million photos are uploaded daily on Instagram and over 300 million photos are uploaded to Facebook every day. So, I think there is no need to explain the drastic development in cameras. From 19th century scouted camera, to the 3200 megapixels LSST camera. But we are thinking about using human eyes as cameras. To use eyes as cameras, we need to know how they work. In a way, human eyes are similar to cameras with some exceptions. Simply speaking, the light rays reflected from the object enters the camera lens. The aperture of the camera controls the amount of light that enters. The entered light hits the amazing sensor ship which contains full of photoreceptors to form an image from the light. One important thing is, the image that is formed is inverted because the lens we used is a convex lens. The inverted image is saved as a corrected image because the cameras are programmed to do so. Similarly, the light rays are reflected from the object enters the eye lens. The iris controls the amount of light that enters. The entered light hits the retina which is the amazing sensor for eyes. To this level, your eye pretty much works as a camera. But things change from here. A camera's amazing sensor chip contains full of photoreceptors. That's why it always captures the complete image. Whereas, human eye can't see the complete picture because we got a blind spot, which is also called scotoma. It's like a little hole to the eye's amazing sensor retina. This is where the optic nerve is connected to retina. Now, recall the question I asked. How many megapixels is human eye? Some say the resolution of eye is 576 megapixels. But the answer is not that simple. This high resolution exists at the center of our vision, having a very small area. The resolution drops rapidly as you go further. Like that, you can see color at the center of our vision. Colors become black and white as you go further. These are the visual imperfections of human eye. But we don't feel these imperfections in our daily life. Because we have an amazing system of vision formed by the most complex organ brain and second most complex organ eye. Look, we don't see with our eyes. We see with our two eyes and brain. Together, they make these visual imperfections disappear, which a camera can't do. Let me give you an example. Take a look at this beautiful picture. Now, I want you to recall the picture in your mind. What you're seeing in your mind is not a photograph, it's a videograph. I told you to look at the picture. You try to remember it. That means you try to store it in the memory. To store a picture in memory, a camera takes a photograph. To store a picture in brain, your eye takes multiple photographs by moving. Because eyes have visual imperfections. By moving and taking snapshots like this, we remember the picture. But the resolution of the image in your brain drops to 5 to 15 megapixels. I told you, the answer is not that simple. Now, there is another problem. A camera focuses all parts of the picture equally. If you look at the raw image captured by a camera, all the objects are given equal importance. To understand what I'm trying to say, look at this picture. Now, recall the picture in your mind. I'm pretty sure what you remembered. It's the Spider-Man, isn't it? This is called focus. The focus of your eye is based on your interest and the non-focused things in the picture fade off. So the image that you form in your mind is not perfect, it's abstract. 
One more thing is, brain doesn't store the image in pixels. So, maybe speaking about megapixels of human eye is inappropriate. To use eye as a camera, you should be able to take out the picture from your brain. Taking out means you should be able to display it on a digital screen. That means the picture should have a perfect pixel data. Each pixel is a square box contains a single color. All pixels together form an image. The higher the number of pixels in an image, the higher the resolution. The problem is collecting the pixel data of an image from brain. If you can do that, you can use your own eyes as cameras. But that's not an easy task. Maybe the research going on accessing the electrical impulses in brain and converting those signals into interpretable data can be helpful in turning human eyes into cameras. Even without the ability to capture photos, our eyes are awesome in many ways. So keep an eye on your eye 